Okay, this is part two of port forwarding. Now, after you've set up a static IP address for your computer, you want to get back into your router. If you don't remember your default gateway or how to get to it, refer to the other video. Put in whatever your username and password are. If you don't know what they are, I'll send you a link to find the defaults for your router. Okay, and mine, we've already done static IP. Okay, I don't need this one. Okay, what I've done for this one is named it name one and name two. The first one is four sevens for the external port. The internal port is four sevens. Now the protocol, you want to make sure it's both of these. Okay. And to IP address, um, it's whatever the static IP address that you chose for this computer. Okay. That's the computer that you want to port forward to. You also want to do this name 2 one three one three three seven make sure it's on both and it's gonna go to both both of them are gonna go to the same computer which you've already um, used DHCP reservation for okay you wanna make sure it's clicked enabled um, because I run through a modem before I get to my router I enabled DMZ um, and my destination I made sure it was the same computer the 10.0.0.15 um, and the source IP address make sure you just put any IP address that means anybody can um, attempt to connect through the DMZ okay so once you've single port forwarded and if you need to do DMZ you only need to do it if you have a modem and a router then just click save settings and close it out and then you're ready to test just remember that everyone's router is different um, this is just the general idea um, what I want you guys to do is follow the link for portforwarding.com and that'll give you more detailed instructions for your particular router or modem that you're using. If you guys have any questions, um, write me a comment or write me a personal message. Thanks.